live from the beautiful sun-kissed island of Kauai, it's Animal Talking. Tonight, join Gary and his guests, Corey Barlog, Ashley Johnson, Laura Bailey, and a special mystery guest. And now, because he wishes he knew how to quit you, here's your host, Gary Witta! Hello, welcome to Animal Talking, the world's first and only live late night talk show that takes place entirely inside a video game, Nintendo's Animal Crossing. Opening our show tonight with an all new version of their recent hit, Past Life. Please welcome Selena Gomez and Trevor Daniel. I'm trying to be honest with my happiness. Don't know why I'm bad at this. And I don't want to sit in on my sadness. I know it's a habit of mine. Perfect, perfect. Timing, I start what I don't know how to end. Don't worry, don't worry, mind me. I ruined it before it began. Oh, last night was the last night, and my past life got me here like you could never figure me out. Last night was the last time, was the last time. I never let you figure me out. Sitting here talking to myself, thinking how I used to, used to, only thing I'm used to. Last night was the last time, was the last time Whoa. Gave me what I wanted when I needed it, honestly I mean it And if I could convince myself to feel it, you know I would feel it, I would Perfect, perfect timing I saw it, I don't know how to end Tell me, tell me, mind me I ruined it before it began And my past life got me here like you can never figure me out Last night was the last time, was the last time I'll never let you figure me out Sitting here talking to myself, thinking how I used to, used to Only thing I'm used to Last night was the last night in my past life Night in my past life got me here like you could never figure me out. Last night was the last time, was the last time. I never let you figure me out. Sitting here talking to myself, thinking how I used to, used to, the only thing I'm used to. Last night was the last night in my past life. Whoa. just happened what just happened adam i don't even know what i don't even know <laughs> even no it's know. amazing i don't even know what to say i'm all uh discombobulated trevor daniel um has to leave us right back and go go immediately right back to the mainland but joining us live i can't believe she's actually here with us on the animal talking couch right now is the real life selena gomez selena thank you so much for coming on the show of course thank you oh my goodness like i guess my first question is like how i still don't know how did this happen how are you here this makes no sense you are legitimately a super duper famous person and this is the dumbest show i i i, I have no idea how we got you i'm just so glad that you're Look, here i agree i'm just kidding <laughs> no no i everyone is talking about this it's, it's so fun all my friends play it so 
um, th- this was so exciting because I knew it would be really fun and my sister would like it. And oh my God. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. And, and my I'm... little thing is so cute, my character. Okay, so first of all, we have to give credit to my wife, Leah Witter, who designs uh, the avatars for celebrities who want to come on the show but don't have their own character. Let's give a, a big shout out to my oh, wife, my, my wonderful wife and yeah. executive producer, Leah Witter, who created your your avatar. Look at you. Look at, I mean, you're adorable in real life, but look at this Animal Crossing version of you. It's the best. I love it. <laughs> it's so fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and also, I must I must commend you on your uh, dress. We've seen we've seen all sorts on this show. People dress up all kinds of, of different ways. And some of our guests are very, very picky. They really want to dress up. They really put our wardrobe department to work. But I love the fact that what you requested was very simple, a blue sweatshirt and white jeans, kind of a norm core kind of look, I guess. Is, is, is this typically your style? I love the fact that you're just, you know, kind of like, you know, you're around the house kind of look for the show. I think it's very cool. Thank you. Yes, I I wanted it to, I wanted it to be simple because that is kind of me, you know. And if I would perform this acoustic, I think I would be very like, in front of people. I would I would be very much that way. I don't really get super dressed up unless it's a show or something that I feel like I need to. But in reality, if I could just sing in my jeans and t-shirt for the rest of my life, I would. I mean, I, I have to dress up. I'm the I'm the host. I have to wear a suit. Adam, my band leader, of course, wears all kinds of ostentations out, out outfits. So I, I love the fact that you're kind of keeping it real. Now, Selena, mm-hmm. before we go any further, I, I have to we're going to do a whole chat. We're gonna, I'm going to be a professional talk show host. But first, I'm going to be very unprofessional and ask you to do me a massive, massive favor. I have oh, a I have a niece. <laughs> Her name's Emma. She is the biggest Selena Gomez fan. I know that if you were to give her a shout out, I would basically get a billion trillion cool uncle points. I would be good for every Thanksgiving and Christmas for the rest of my life. Would you, the real life Selena Gomez, please give my niece Emma a little shout out. I'll hear you on the show. Of course, Emma. We're just saying hi over here on Animal Talking. Oh my God. I'm just tickled. I've seen it all on this show. We've had Sting, we've had T-Pain, Brie Lars, we have an amazing guy. I don't know, there's something about having Selena Gomez here on the couch. It's just like, I, I just don't even know what to say. The chat is going nuts. We're breaking audience records right now. 20,000 people watching us live. The numbers are going to be insane. Speaking of insane numbers, Selena, I'm not going to tell you anything you don't already know, but my goodness, when I was doing my research, you have sold more than 145 million singles worldwide. People have streamed your music more than 25 billion times. Uh, Rare, which is your latest album, is the is your third consecutive album to debut at number one on the Billboard charts. I mean, I guess you're hoping that by appearing here on Animal Talking, you'll really start to get your music career off the ground. I'm thinking, yes, I'm thinking all of that led up to this moment in my career. So <laughs> this could be just, just the boost your career needs. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> that was all awkward things you were saying, but thank you. Yes, I well, love it. <laughs> I mean, so I mean, I don't want to make you feel any more awkward, but we talked about this in our pre-interview earlier today. I have about a hundred thousand followers on 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 Twitter, and when I tweet something, I sometimes get overwhelmed with lots and lots of responses. You have sixty-one million followers on followers on Twitter, and one of the reasons why the chat right now is so filled with Selena Gomez fans is that you did a tweet right before the show to your sixty-one million fans saying, "Hey, come." check me out on animal talking you also have 185 million followers on instagram that's bigger than most countries i gotta ask you like what is that even like having that kind of stratospheric following on social media i can't even comprehend it can you comprehend it well i think that i've forgotten a little bit not in a bad way it's just that i uh, i never really pay attention to what people think of me and i think that's really really helped me stay and a healthy mindset of just being who I am. I've been very honest and I've been super open with people. And I I just, I, I, I disconnect from that world as best as I can. So I don't know, um, it's very weird, but I don't think about the amount of people. I just, I can't get overwhelmed with that. I just do what I need to do or what I feel is best to do i think that's very commendable i, w- I want to talk to you of course about past life it's a beautiful song that you opened uh the show with a collaboration with with trevor daniel the studio mm-hmm. version the, the 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 video that's out there right now hopefully one of our uh, uh um very lovely mods 
uh, we'll drop the link to the YouTube video. It's only got 13 million views. Maybe we can help you uh, get that up a little bit. Um, nice. <laughs> uh, we're going to drop the link to the studio version. Uh, let me see if I can actually do it. Uh, you know, I got to do everything myself around. Here we go. Copy link. <laughs> Uh, we're going to drop it right in here. De -de 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 -de. There's the link to the past life music video. If you want to go check out uh, Selena and Travis, very, very cool video. But what you brought to the show was something different. And this is really cool. This was actually a brand new, never before, never before heard, uh, all new version, which is kind of a more of a stripped down, unplugged acoustic kind of version. I thought it was really beautiful. Was it, was, was that fun to do to kind of pair away all of the studio production and just like for focus on your voice and the, and the instruments? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Just because um, actually how the song is created is basically from scrap. So it, right. it feels original and it feels really pretty. And we actually used some of the vocals when I did do a version that was a little uh, quieter. I had a little bit of that acoustic feel. So I think it turned out really well. And I was, you know, I'm really happy with, with Trevor and how it's doing and it's exciting. It's it's beautiful, and I hope you do release this uh, this version that you played on the on the show night. We're actually going to drop it as a, a, a YouTube video uh, tomorrow, so people can go can go listen to it uh, if they miss the the live show uh, tonight. But I actually prefer. I mean, I I think both are great, but I actually prefer the version we heard tonight to the studio version because it just really yeah. again when you strip away all the all the stuff around it, it just really highlights what an amazing voice you have. Yeah, oh, thank you so much. So uh, this, this, the past life was a collaboration with Trevor Daniel, who is a huge star in his own right. In in the past, you've also you have all these amazing previous collaborations: Demi Lovato, ASAP Rocky, Kid Cudi, Cardi B, Marshmello. I gotta ask you, um, you've, you've collaborated with so many amazing artists. Is, is there still like who's on your wish list? Is there anyone that you really like? Who would be a dream collaboration for you musically? Oh, that's so hard. Is it me? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. I'm not a fan. No, 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 trust me, Selena. That was the appropriate reaction. That's so hard. You know, um, I'll say, I'll say there's a, a few artists for sure, but I've always dreamt of doing a song with Taylor, and oh. we both wanted to do that. It's just everything, everything, everything remains in our friendship, you know. And so it's it's so it, it just feels like we're family. I've known her for I think 13 or 14 years now. So oh, wow. I mean, it's just yeah, she's been my best friend. But we've talked about it for sure. Um, Only a matter of time before you collaborate on something. Surely, if you're such such good friends, you never know. Well, and also, <laughs> and also, you know, I mean, not that you need any any help making contacts in the music business, but you know, we're now slouch over here. We've had Sting. Your, by the way, your virtual butt is sitting on the exact same sofa cushion that Sting's virtual butt was on just a few weeks ago. I am honored. Isn't that something? That is Amazing. Um, and T-Pain's butt and T pain And T-Pain was here. Um, you know, so if you're interested in doing a collaboration with Sting or T-Pain, maybe Animal Talking can hook you up. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I'll let you know. Um, I do want to also talk to you about Rare, which is this uh, your uh, your current album. I'm going to do a little bit of magic here and put it up on the screen. Here is your album cover, Rare, Selena Gomez. This is what's currently in the stores if you want to go get the latest uh, Selena Gomez uh, album and again in doing my research my goodness look at this rolling stone called it one of the best albums of 2020 so far shockingly beautiful and upbeat they say divine ruthlessness full of dancey uh clarity four stars um people this this soulful new album which selena's voice is as sultry as ever uh, lets us know just how far she's come. Triumphant, mm -hmm. says Bill. I, I, I could go all... You've got all these amazing notices. It kind of reminds me, Adam, of when Animal Talking first debuted and we got all these incredible reviews. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Selena, you must be thrilled with how this new album's been received. Yeah, no, I was I was very, very happy. I mean, there was a whole personal journey during it that I was walking through and I was just kind of nervous. I felt like it was the right timing, but I was super nervous to, to release it all and especially release my first single. I was nervous, but uh, of course, it's great when people love it, and it's even better when you know people acknowledge it as that as well. So I'm very happy. I think it's it's funny because I've already feel like I'm you know I've been working on the new album, so I'm not very like I'm not in that headspace as much. But I hey, I, I'm so proud of what we did. Oh, so as, as we're all listening to the current album, you're you're already um, working on the next one. Oh no, I don't know if I was supposed to say that. <laughs> 
It's an Adam. Adam, it's an animal talking scoop. Oh. We, we, we just we just broke the biggest story in the music business. Selena Gomez <laughs> currently at work on her new album. My goodness. I'm with some stars. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so listen, the beautiful sun-kissed island of Kauai, where we are, where, where we are right now, you know, none of us are wearing masks. This is a coronavirus-free zone. This is kind of an escape from the stresses of the real world. That's why we created the show. But I do want to ask you, because this is actually going to lead into a conversation about a really cool project of yours that I want to talk to you about. How is the quarantine life treating you right now? Um, you know, we've, we've, we've been stuck in, in indoors now for, what, like 150 days or something. Mm -hmm. We're all pretty miserable over here. How are you holding up, Selena Gomez? Well, I, I would, I mean, I, I definitely wouldn't say that it's been the best time and I'm a huge empath. So I tend to like carry the weight of everything on my shoulders and even, you know, even just about everything. So, um, in the beginning I had a really hard time and I think anybody would have a hard time sitting with their thoughts and, and sitting with you know, what's going on that could obviously cause so much stress. And then eventually I just, you know, I found out ways that I could be helpful. And then, you know, I found things that interested me and, and tried to have fun in moments where I can. So this does lead me um, to this next project of yours. This, and the timing is perfect because the trailer just dropped today. The timing could not be better. We just got lucky on this one. So the, so the, the quarantine has really led to, uh, as, as much as it sucked, if there's a bright side to it, and it's not much of one, but it, it's at least something, it has led to uh, creative people coming up with really cool ways to somehow get through this and, and you know create cool stuff no matter what the, the circumstances. You know, life life finds a way uh we created this dumb talk show we had josh gad on here a couple of weeks ago he created this amazing oh. thing called reunited uh, apart where he kind of you know uh, over zoom kind of reunites the cast of like famous 80s and 90s movies that's a oh. really cool project and now you selena I just, I, i'm just gonna i just keep saying selena go you selena gomez because selena gomez is really sitting right here on our couch you selena yeah. gomez uh, have created this really, really cool show, which again, feel, I mean, you tell me, but it feels very much like um, a project, a, a product of of the quarantine. I don't know if it would have existed uh, otherwise called Selena and Chef, which is uh, going to be dropping next week on HBO Max. Tell me about Selena and mm. Chef. Um, that was uh, <laughs> that was really, really fun. I'm I think the whole idea of that was to do something fun to make people you know, our families watch something and you know, make a, basically look at me making an idiot of myself in the kitchen. <laughs> um, but it was really, it was delightful. We found a very cool way to do it. And I got to basically be in a room, but on like a chat. So I would see them in their kitchen and then they would see me in mine. So it was really, really interesting. But I just think that I hope people just enjoy it and it's a light a light show and you might learn something or you just might laugh <laughs> well guess what as luck would have it we ha that we do have that trailer so let's uh let's pop over here it's a little uh let's a minute 43 let's pop <laughs> over to the uh to monitor two right here we got so lucky hbo max just happened to i want to believe that they did it for us but of course we just got lucky uh let's <laughs> uh, let's go over to monitor two and check out the trailer for the new hbo max show uh selena and chef I'm Selena Gomez, and I really love to eat. But I'm not the best cook. Ah! I burned it. Sorry. <laughs> I've asked some of the best chefs to school me. So I'm so excited to learn from the legend. I'm so happy. They're at home. I'm at home. And we're going to see if we can make a meal together apart. What are you going to teach me to cook? The parfait omelette. Spicy miso ramen. Korean breakfast taco. Seafood tostada. Hawaiian donuts. Matcha chocolate chip cookies. Made of bruschetta. Cheese souffle. Selena, you're a chef! Woo! <laughs> Those are my grandparents and my friends. They're going to be my tasters. Ooh. Yeah, that's not done. It's not done. <laughs> Whoops. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. You're like, whoosh. Oh, this is on fire! Sorry. Okay. It's octopus time, lady. Uh, One plant for sitting out. It smells so good. That looks like the heart. What? You had to describe yourself as a food. What would you say? I think I'm a jalapeno. Some bites can be all right, and then some bites are like, whoa. 
<laughs> oh, I'm getting nervous. But then again, I did sign up to look like a fool on HBO Max. She'd be good at that. <laughs> So that just that just looks like a ton of fun. <laughs> um, I know when I was approving these clips, I, I was because I, I, I had such a hard time watching myself and I wanted to be myself. So it, I thought it would help if I just didn't pay attention to a lot of it. And then when I got sent most of the content, I was very surprised. <laughs> I was who, like, who, who, how did this come about? Whose idea was this? Um, actually, I think it was like a collective uh, like a collective thing that we decided to do, but it all worked out because everything, everything that I get to come up with my team and create something, we always try to do things that they, I always try to incorporate things that I love doing into, you know, my life. So yeah, I don't think this would have happened if quarantine was, was going on, but I'm so glad that it did because I was really obsessed with it. It was a lot of fun. Pri prior to the show, I did you did you do you like to cook? Were you are you handy around it uh, around the kitchen? Were you clueless in the kitchen prior to this? Like what were your what were your what was your culinary skill level prior to uh, embarking on this show? Well, I am. Um, it wasn't good. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do that great. No, I used to actually um, make like lettuce wraps and things that were pretty easy, relatively easy to make. Um, but but cooking has to be consistent is what I've learned. So like you can't really take a, a couple of weeks off or something because it comes naturally. So um, I, I'm doing it. I'm loving it. I'm doing it. I'm here for it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> what did you learn about yourself as a cook? Um, that I'm not very safe. <laughs> um, take too many risks. Um, and sometimes I don't pay attention. <laughs> Do you have any favorite dishes? Like what's what's the best thing that you cooked on this show? What's the thing that you like you were happiest with the way it came out that you cooked on the show? Uh, probably the miso ramen because that was really difficult and very technical to make with all of the different flavors. But it was unbelievable. I mean, I I enjoyed everything I cooked except the octopus. But oh, the octopus! Yeah, that looked kind of gross. Oh, that looked. Gross. It was not. It was pretty gross. <laughs> and I mean, did and did you have any particular like total? Was there anything that was like a total write-off? No, actually. Um, you know, I I I just saw body parts of animals I didn't want to see. I mean, I, 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 can, I can certainly relate to that. Um, Sorry, I'm weird. Something that wasn't mentioned on the trailer, but that I do want to talk to you about is um, uh, each episode highlights a different food-related charity. That's cool. Tell me about that part. Yeah, so of course, with anything that I do, um, absolutely anything, um, before I agree to do something, I ask there to be a charity component. That's what I've done my whole life. And so with this one, I was able to collaborate with all of these chefs and see what they cared about, what, you know, what kind of charities they're a part of or organizations. And we worked together on basically getting every episode to, to have a donation that will go to an organization they know. By the way, Adam, I'm trying not to freak out about the fact that we are currently breaking audience records right now. We've never had this many people watching us live. It's it's very really? big. Oh yeah, <laughs> by 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 some margin. Uh, in case in case you uh, haven't heard, Selena, you're quite popular. Um, uh, very nice. People seem to really like you. Uh, there's a, there, you've got a lot of you've got a lot of very very uh, passionate fans in the chat right now. Um, We're so excited that you're here. You know yes, what? I, I think buy, like uh... the ones I know. I know which ones are on here. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the stand, not just the fans, but the stands, the really hard yes. ones. Yes. Yes. Selena Funny. stands. Uh, yes, Adam, you wanted to say something. I was going to say, like, I'm not going to get any other time. Do you mind if I Adam? take this opportunity? Do you mind if I take this opportunity to try and impress Selena? Well, I mean, I guess it depends on, on how in, how exactly you intend to do that. You're not going to embarrass me, are Selena, you? Selena, yeah. what do you think of? What do you think of this? Hang on. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Adam does this what every time. What is in my face? What is in my face? It's a it's a giant <laughs> sunfish that Adam caught. He's very pleased with himself about it. I don't know um, what he's doing to me. He's making weird things. Th this is between me and Adam. I'll take it up with him after the show. Adam Adam doesn't like it when he's not the center of attention for too long. He has to kind of upstage people, even when it's pretty clear like who the actual star on the stage right now is. Uh, so <gasps> yeah, that's he's not wrong. wrong. Every, I'm impressed. Every, uh, I'm um, sorry. What was that? What did you? Did you say you were impressed? I was impressed. God, this is like when I got Sting to admit on the show that I was his friend. Remember that? That was... <laughs> <laughs> he said it. He can't take it back. He can never take it back. Um, um, and let's not... But Adam, let's not forget, if you really want to get into a competition here, let's not forget that during the pre-interview, Selena said I had a very nice voice. Yes. True. I do. I do like his voice very much. Thank you. Thanks. Oh Am I God. flirting through cartoons? <laughs> I, I mean, why not? It's like <laughs> there's no more harmless way to do it. We're all we're all cartoons here. We're in a virtual world. We're in the metaverse. <laughs> Um, uh, it's about as harmless. This is about as wholesome as it's as it's ever going to get. Uh, so, hmm. Selena, Selena, and Chef. Um, the first three episodes are going to start running on HBO Max August thirteenth. That's just. Uh, uh, eight days away next Thursday. How many of these are you planning on? It says the first three, but are you, did you do more? How many are you planning on doing? I did 10, 10 episodes. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So we'll eventually so, see all 10 on HBO Max. Right, right. And uh, yeah, it's, so I can't wait. It's, it's. I think it's like going to be something that I'm going to enjoy with my family and my cousins are going to just make fun of me and stuff. So I can't I mean, wait. I mean, it looks like you had a lot of fun even when things went wrong. I did. No, I, I really did. And so <laughs> everything I did was just something new, something different, something gross. You know, good. I think I mentioned to you before, you know, we've had uh, the great Danny Trejo here on the show before. He's become mm -hmm. a, a, a great friend of the show. Um, and he is a, he originally came on to plug his cookbook, Trejo's Tacos. Uh, he loves to he loves to cook Mexican food. Uh, maybe yeah. we'll have, maybe at some point we'll have to get you two on here together for some kind. Of, I've always wanted to do a cooking segment somehow on the show. Maybe there's a way that we can figure that out. Hey, you guys figured out a whole planet and a world, so I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. If you and by the way, if you ever if you're looking for a, <laughs> if you're looking for an idea for the sequel on HBO Max, if you ever want to do Selena and British Chef, if you're, no. ever, looking, if you're ever looking for <laughs> someone to teach you how to make such classics as Toad in the Hole, Spotted Dick, oh, wow. and Bubble and Squeak. Let me tell um, you, you, you need look need look no further. Okay. Do any, I mean, do any <laughs> of those sound of those do any of those sound said. appealing to you? It's wow. okay. If, it's okay if they don't. Wow. <laughs> I, can, I, I, I promise you, they are all so much tastier than than they sound. Um, Selena, what's next for you? What are you doing? What, what's 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 the next? What's the next thing? What do you want to do next? What are you doing next? Um, I'm doing. You know, I'm doing some stuff that will eventually roll out. The, the biggest thing I have next would be the rare, my rare beauty cosmetics. Um, and I'm so excited about it because I've been working on it for two years. Tell us about it. And yeah, my, my whole goal with this line was exactly what it turned out to be is that makeup is meant to be, you know, something that you enjoy and that maybe it makes you feel comfortable. But I, I don't like the pressure of, of where young kids or young girls or men, whoever, just to feeling the pressure that they need to have it a certain way or um, that they, they don't do this style or that style, it's bad. I just, I wanted an entire space that made people understand what the word rare means. And we're really big on mental health as well. So on top of our products being um, very, very easy, they're not too expensive. We've had all of my makeup tested for every possible thing with optometrist. That's how you say the word. Um, basically, we we had this going on for such a long time because I wanted it to be so easy, just classic, and um, and I wanted it to become a safe place. So I'm I'm excited about that because. Um, it's not just going to, I hope, I don't think it will be, but it's not just going to be, I'm not a celebrity attaching my name to to a line. This is a line I created from scratch, and I couldn't be more excited. I'm doing some live, right, right as we're talking, I'm multitasking here and doing some live research on Rare Beauty. It says here, September 3rd at Sephora um, at yeah. rarebeauty.com. Is that correct? Correct. 
<laughs> Thanks for that plug. <laughs> like I said, it's, 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 you know, I mean, like I said, Selena, you only have 185 million followers on Instagram. You clearly need help. Um, <laughs> getting, getting the word out. Here, I'm, I'm, I'm putting this up right here. Uh, you can go oh, to rarebeauty.com right now. Coming September 3rd, you can put, you can put in your email um, and you can, uh, you can get more information. This is, this is uh, very cool. I love it. I, yeah. and, and I love that you're doing it in like a, you know, ethical, sustainable kind of way. I think we need more of that in the world. Definitely. I think so too. Um, Selena, you've been, you've been so generous with your time and I, I don't want to monopolize you because you're obviously a very, very busy person. Uh, and we're going to get to our next guest pretty soon. So I'm going to, I'm going to let you go very, very soon. Before oh. that happens though, I, and I, and I, and again, I would never ambush you on the show, but I did warn you in our pre-interview, we do have a tradition here on Animal Talk and we like it whenever possible uh, for our guests <laughs> to, uh, tell a uh, tell a bad joke, and I asked you. I said, "Do you?" I, I said, "Do you know any bad jokes?" And you went, "Oh, I know a lot of them." So I'm actually really interested to hear uh, what you have for us because my expectations are high. Don't say that. <laughs> whoa, no, pre whoa. no pressure. My whoa. Okay, hang on. I wrote them down, but I don't you wrote know them why. down. Is, is there more than one? I mean, like, make, like, feel free to do like a you know two or three if you've got if you can't choose between the best ones. You want to yeah, do a set? You can yeah. come over to the microphone. <laughs> yeah, you can do a whole. You can do. We have had stand-up comics on the show. Feel free to uh, you know work on your uh, your routine here on the show. You can workshop. <laughs> okay. Do you have a joke for us? Yes. All right, I'm listening. How do you get a squirrel to like you? I don't know. Act like a nut. All right, that's the right <laughs> level of comedy. That's what we like on this show. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. You got more? Okay. I don't I, 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 listen, I could listen to you tell jokes all day. Go ahead. It's so bad. <laughs> I don't I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Did you just laugh at your own joke? <laughs> no, I Was that Adam? <laughs> I couldn't tell. It was uh, her and me. I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. She wasn't even oh my God. telling the joke and she was laughing. Adam couldn't even get to... <laughs> Let me, Selena's cracking herself up. I love it. it. I mean, is there more? Does it get better? I can't believe that it gets better okay, than this. Why don't eggs tell jokes? I'm sorry. Why don't eggs tell jokes? Yeah. I don't know. They crack each other up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you, you, Selena, you, you've, you've conquered uh, the acting world, the, oh, the music world. You're about to conquer the cosmetics world. I mean, maybe comedy is, is, is the next frontier for you. Hey, technically that was my first job on Disney. Yeah. I, I, yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it though. It was, it's so much fun. I, I, and I just, I can't believe I told those jokes. I mean, I, I can't, I can't believe we got not one, but three absolutely <laughs> terribly brilliant or brilliantly terrible. I don't know how you want to, you want to uh, classify them jokes out of selena gomez but those are absolutely like i i i, I don't want to push my luck but did you do you have any more or do you want to just leave it with that incredible trilogy of jokes that trifecta yeah, since i'm very good at kind of simulating myself oh my god she's got more adam she's actually got more i can't believe this <laughs> this graveyard looks overcrowded people must be dying to get in oh my god <laughs> i don't like that one i'm sorry that was dark Oh my God, Adam! Do you like have a book or something? Adam, what have we unleashed? Yeah, that's the thing. What have we unleashed? It's because my it's because my friends like tell horrible jokes, and well, I should only say one friend, Raquel. I'm calling you out. Um, I think she has the best jokes, and we don't actually react to the jokes whatsoever. We're just dying laughing at how she's trying to tell a joke and it's real bad it's awkwardly bad selena would you would you like me to tell you one of my favorite jokes yeah why did the cookie cry because, why because her mother was away for so long uh -huh. <laughs> guys i think you're losing the, the viewers now <laughs> yeah okay yeah they're, they're dropping like flies but I, 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 Adam, you heard it. That just went out live. That cannot be taken back. I just cracked Selena. She went <laughs> like that. I cracked her up. I did it. I did it. That that's the high that's point. Hilarious. So. Sel Selena, you you have. I could keep you here all evening, but I don't want to be rude to my other guests. You have been more than generous uh, enough with your time already. I'm 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 sincerely so grateful and so so happy that you came on the show. Um, I I did make a promise to you prior to coming on the show that you would enjoy yourself, you would have a good time. I hope yeah. I delivered on that promise. Did you, did you have a good time? 
I had a great time. This was so cool, and I'll definitely be back. Thank you, thank you so much. We will release the... Uh, wait, 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 Andrew, did you hear that? I didn't even have to twist her arms. She says she's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know we are. You, you know we are going to be doing a Halloween special. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get in touch with you. Get you to come back for Halloween. All right. I, oh my god, I love this. I love this. I'm so excited. Adam, put the put the fish away. I'm serious. I I swear. <laughs> Thank you guys so much Selena, for having me. thank you so much. You've been absolutely delightful. I, you are, of course, welcome back on the show anytime. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, Selena Gomez. Woo!